Rudo and Frappendol. Frappendol Heights, we've got Bazenik, uh, Grabowski, Hood, and the other player there is the Scipio as well. Off we go. Finals football has started in the Westpac Premier Division. We are underway at Coburg City Oval, and no will winner of the clearest just yet. They finally go inside 50 to Avondale Heights. Reese Macon was the man that got it down there. The target of the kick, Dylan to Britt, had to juggle it. They get inside 50 now. Fulton was, a, I think it was Fulton, the man that got it down there, but it's cut off. In fact, it was uh, Dean Bartrop with the kick. But Airport West will rebuild this one off fullback. McVeigh's lost a boot early in that first centre bounce and he's trying to get it back on quickly. Barbudo, strong kick. Good one-on-one -on -one contest on the wing for Airport West. Dustin Liebel is there. Goes inside Avondale's 50 again. They're going against the wind. Good attack by Avondale Heights, but beats everybody and sneaks just out of bounds right side of that goalpost. And a very strong start to Avondale Heights. Two inside 50s against uh, a three or four goal win. Megan's had the footy three times. We've been going a minute already. Um, that's a uh, very worrying sign for Airport West. And he's the sort of player who can really dominate on the ground like this. Airport West now trying to clear their desperate scout. Big left foot kick. It was an ugly kick that got distance. We see now strong that win is punch. I think it was Morris on the wing versus the Airport West player uh, Rogers might have been and it's right on the outer side in front of hardly any crowd there on Coburg City Oval. Adam Sarikoglu. Ta sorry mate. Taylor Jones looks like he's got the job there on, uh, on, on Clayton Rogers early too. Good matchup. I like that one. Dead centre wing, out of side, Coburg, City, Oval, the other game, Greenvale, Avondale Heights. We'll be bringing you those scores as soon as they come to us. Apparently 500 there. A uh, very interesting okay. matchup, guys. So John Anastasio, a back pocket for uh, Avondale Heights, playing on Daniel Harris, has gone forward. Anastasio usually plays on the taller, slower player. And uh, that's uh, an interesting matchup. And I'm tipping Sadi Ghazi might uh, do a little change here in the back pocket for Avondale Heights. No disrespect to John, but uh, a you know, midfielder like Daniel Harris. And Avondale Heights are going to clear this one out. They've won the clearances with. They did that a couple of weeks ago as well against Airport West at Hanson Reserve. They go inside 50 again. Airport West yet to do so. Fulton went down, picked it up, got tackled straight away. It's a hot footy at the moment as the ball goes close to the line and the free kick has been paid, in fact, to Airport West. Johnny McKay is going to be the man to take it. Goes with the switch and they'll go through the corridor here. Jesse McVeigh. Took a good mark in front of Jack Ralston in the middle of Coburg City Oval. Up towards half forward, loose man, Clayton Rogers. Lost it in the sun, dropped the mark. It's on the paint of 50. Macon's been good early when he bought to Burn. Burn gets it, broadcast wing, helicopter ball. It'll take a bounce. Go out of play in front of the broadcast uh, area, in front of the broadcast box, and we'll have a throw in. We play two and a half minutes, no score just some, yet. Some really good matchups getting around the ground at the moment. We've got Barbero on uh, Cravino in the middle, Oregon. That's a great start. Burn will win this tap down and do his own roving. And he hand passes out of bounds. That was a strange bit of play. No deliberate paid. Another throw in. Burns got the heavily strapped right thigh. He's going to be much more athletic, although giving away probably a couple of inches in height to the two uh, Airport West Ruckman. No surprises there in the back line there with Tiller on uh, Marcus Kenny. Hey, Barbero got the uh, job on Patrick, Patrick Rose uh, two weeks ago, Adam. Uh, he got touched up a little bit. They've gone for Fulton on Rose and Barbero now doing a midfield ta uh, tag. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, Crivino was Boyd. quite good in the second half, especially uh, so, last Boyd. week, and looks like Bagheera's following at the moment. Yeah, excuse me, Sam Boyd uh, on, on Patrick Rose, who's uh, generally a centre-half back, so big job for Boyd. But yeah, Barbera looks like he's adaptable to play on a midfield tag or a uh, defensive tag. Yeah, it was certainly potent last time uh, these two clubs met was Patrick Rose. As a little kick goes forward from Britt and it's cut off by Jesse McVeigh. Jesse McVeigh, a home great for Airport West, uh, younger brother of Ricky and he has the ball in centre wing, goes long and strong to Marcus Kenny, first inside 50, goes over the head of Kenny, it's all over now, Anastasio, oh, and Daniel Harris wraps him up, gives him a little shove, and the ball is out of bounds, 15 metres out in front of the, uh, the big grandstand of the old Coburg uh, grandstand there, but... Uh and it's getting older by the year, but it's done a new uh, paint job there, but gets thrown in right in the forward pocket. Burn in Break the ruck there. Crumb. Daniel Break Harris crumbs it. Ten metres out in front of goal and kicks the first for Airport West. And that's what I was saying in that matchup versus an Asavio. You've got a midfielder matching up against a, a tallest back. First goal, uh, Airport West. And that's a move and a matchup that Adam Contessa will be licking his lips. Yeah, you, you tend to find that Matty Cravino was just sensational a couple of weeks ago against Airport West. So there's been a lot of homework done how to counter that. Uh, Avondale Heights are the most uh, disciplined side I've seen in the Premier League this year and coach, you know, remarkably well from Sadi Ghazi. Basically, uh, Rogers has taken that, that boundary throw in there and Byrne has uh, elected to sort of um, try and go with him. Didn't work as a result. Um, uh, Anastasia's lost uh, Harris in, in, at, at the stoppage and Harris has just done whatever he 
gun small four does. He had time and space. He basically could have walked in and rolled the ball over the boundary line there. It was uh, over the goal line there. It was fantastic. Great goal by Harris. Steady kicked it into the uh, Lawn Bowls club, and we've got a fresh footy already. So we've only played five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that win is extremely strong. It's probably a four goal win, so airports are really going to need to take advantage of this. Five minutes gone, first quarter, first strike to Airport West in this elimination final in the Westpac Premier Division. Saliba haven't lost it. It's a hot footy in the middle. A lot of players around this ball, McVay. Has been good early, got himself involved as well. Ralston had it. Oh, great handball. Cravino did well. Great Get on kick. the end of it and went inside 50. Patrick Rose has a bit of space on Boyd. But Rose has to chase this one down and he's running out of room, does now. Run out of room, in fact. It went out of bounds, throw in 55 out from home. The slick hands of the uh, Avondale Heights midfield is going to be something that will be uh, just special to watch today. They're very, very good in close. And uh, as I said, if they can allow spread, they're, uh, they're going to be very hard to match. Five and a half played right at the tip of the 50 at the moment. Airport West have been good early and the ball comes out to Scown who just runs into a brick wall in Josh Free. Went to half forward. Loose man back there. Burn. Ball just eluded here. Whoa. This is going to put him under a lot of pressure. Tackled him straight away. Umpire nearly paid holding the ball and then put his arms up and said play, uh, play on when the ball spilled out. Now a chance again for Airport West. They've got some numbers across half forward. Harris a target cool. kick. Cravino gets in the way, right halfback. Matty Cravino, big name in the EFL this year and a beautiful mark across halfback for the Heights. Kicking against the win, Alex to go across the face. Little chip kick to uh, young uh, Reese Megan, who's been very good. Goes out of stage. Oh, nervous kick there. Holds it. He's only 50 metres in their defensive zone at the moment. Standing in the mark. Oh, no. It's a dangerous kick. Kenny. Oh, and uh, all of a sudden... Uh, under pressure is Taylor Jones. Kenny uses his strength, gives it to Harris. Harris on the boundary. What can he do? Daniel Harris, oh, yourself in Go. glory. It's hit the post, yeah. boys. From here, it's hit the post. Oh. Cover oh. yourself in oh. glory. Oh. It's hit the post, fellas. We've got the perfect angle from here. The umpire wasn't quite in the best position, but, you know, he's done to do what he did. Back of the padding there, so that's uh, very... But, look... Basically, the kick from uh, Anastasia there was far too high. Excellent work by Marcus Kenny. It was to, great mobility, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, just to, 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 get, to cover the ground and to get back. And then, again, that little cheeky man there, Daniel Harris, has done again. That's two goals. You've got to be much tighter. Conversely, um, we need to be a bit tighter on Megan as well, who's getting a bit of the footy. We've for, got the footage the being filmed, so this uh, replay will be up on EDFL uh, website tomorrow. So we'll see if that really did touch the post here as a clear inside 50 now. Two have no heights, but it's bounced out because of that strong win. And now they have it uh, across half order. Crucial spot oh. there. All of a sudden, under pressure was Josh Young. It uh, goes now to, uh, I think it's gotten by himself. That's uh, Jesse McVay, excuse me. He goes inside 50. Harris is there again, 50 out. Tries to shark at Rogers. Rogers there, tackled hard by Anastasio. Avondale under duress in their back line. Harris is tough. Ben. Anastasio is tough. Yeah. And the fend off has given a free kick against Daniel Harris to the Avondale Heights Football Club. The big Greek ex Kilo, John Anastasio. No, it's actually gone to Cravino. It's a big crowd here at Coburg City. Big switch there. on here if he goes to, to Risky to Megan. And these clubs are putting on a, a treat at the moment. Matty Econo, you call it. And they're going to the switch. And they put themselves under a bit of pressure here. Megan couldn't take the mark. He's got to take a couple bounces. Oh. The hand pass was back because he hand passed it straight into an opponent. Now he's got to clean up his mess. Wolf Thram went to ground as soon as he got the ball. It's up for grabs. It's picked up. Boy, I think it was Urquhart now, uh, Contessa. Inside 50, Rogers can't take the mark. And at the fall of it is Marcus Goal. Kenny. Goes on the right foot, snap from 50. Marcus Kenny, high ball. Look at the ball carry. Uh, there's another one. Gone, another 60, and it's in the scaffolding behind the goals in thank, the uh, southern ends. Thank goodness for that scaffold there, boys. Otherwise, if you're a young fella today, prime position would be somewhere in the middle of the bowling club. You're going to come away with a bag full of footies, I reckon. Eight and a half minutes played, 2 one thirteen. Airport where Stavonsdale Heights yet to score after getting the first couple of inside 50. Yeah. Stephen Tiller's going to be the man to bring it in. A couple of changes already. Uh, Young's come for his rotation, and uh, Airport West are just about to start theirs. And don't be surprised if uh, they've made a change on Daniel Harris as well. He just looks so dangerous. There's so many inside 50s happening as well. You've got to have your best defenders. And that's not taking away anything from John Anastasio, but just a match-up again, a midfielder on a, uh, a slower backman. Ooh. And a dangerous kick. Ooh. Oh, he's oh. dropped it. Under pressure he was, uh, Josh yeah. Young. Josh Young, Harris. Harris gives it to Kenny in the goal square. Great goal. And Marcus Kenny has kicked an absolute beauty. And again, the strong wind... There, uh, puts it Josh Young in pressure. He's had a cracking season, but he's had the jitters early in this game. Josh Young, the ex VFL player, and uh, Airport West 3 1 19, leading Avondale Heights yet to score. Hey, how about that? He's played nine amazing. minutes, two goals, one goal assist. Amazing. He's a proud, proud man, Joshua Young. He will be very, very dirty on himself there for dropping that one. But what's ours? The love between those two forwards there in, uh, in Kenny and Harris. Yeah, he's sharing it. it.
Ball back in the middle and Macon just fist it forward for Avondale Heights, but it didn't go far. And again, Airport West will go into attack. The kick comes to right half forward. Ball fisted away by Wolf Grant, but he lost it as well. It's all falling Airport West way. Barbero inside 50, and that man Harris is lurking again, but this time Kenny has to chase her down up against Tiller. Ball Ooh, goes out of bounds. Pressure, uh, Adam Sarakoglu. Have a throw in. Taylor Jones didn't know what to do. Just uh, don't think he disguised it too well. <laughs> Corazu is coming, for, is coming onto the ground. Hogan's come off there. Looks like Josh Young's, uh, Josh Free's about to come back on the ground as well there for the Avondale Heights side. Caruso, so, a tough player too, guys. It's already a 19 point lead. Here's a yeah, right foot snap, but it didn't go anywhere. Ricky McVeigh, and it's, I uh, don't know if it registers a score. No, it doesn't. It's actually touched, and we'll have a throw in right, to the, not, right next to the behind post. Yeah, dangerous play there. And uh, Airport West, is this a start contest we would have wanted? Uh, sensational start. Harris is on fire at the moment, but uh, just noticing the work rate of Matt, Matty Cravino, he's just sensational how he just runs up and down the ground and gets around contests. You can see him now um, trying to shake a tag. It'll be a great matchup. We've got uh, Dean Pardock putting a heavy tag on McVeigh. Great tackle by Kenny. Ball's 15 metres out. Uh, it Free kick to Avondale Heights, so Airport West just a little aggressive. Marcus Kenny with that tackle. And the lightweight jockey, he got thrown away there. Uh, I think it's Bartop has it right deep in defence against the winner. Would want to be in another position. Burn in front. Can he take the mark? Spills in the back as well. Airport West have it 40 out. Airport West is going to have a shot at goal. What can they do? It goes across the face and uh, a little bit of a waste. That was uh, the goal kicker, Trent Scorsis. First game back, set a sensational year. Another home ground at Airport West. He should have centred that. He, he was, there was four, four, four players loose there, but he's gone a little bit of a banana. Bit. Prob- and usually a beautiful kick, isn't usually he, Scorsis? More concerning would be the fact that four blokes from Avondale Heights have jumped to the footy, leaving three on the ground. That's, That's sort of the point. stuff we want to be worrying about for, from this end of the ground, especially uh, kicking into the breeze. You've got to have, uh, you've got to be a bit smarter. I reckon uh, Sadi's going to be having some stern chat to some uh, Avondale Heights boys at quarter time. They clear. High ball. It's at right half back for Avondale Heights. All of a sudden, things are already looking desperate. We haven't even played halfway through the first quarter just oh, yet. Oh, middle of the ground. Is that a tackle? Drop the ball. Oh. the back. Holding the ball. Barbero's oh. going to get the free kick. Strong man, isn't he, uh, boys? Had point one of a second to get rid of that one and got a high one, but unfortunate there. He'll have a shot nearly here from about 65 with None, the breeze. Oh. Nearly oh. thought it was in the back as well as Barbero goes inside 50 and wastes it. Avondale Heights will come away. Kick comes towards broadcast wing. Going up for the mark. Not taking it. it was James Watts in the long sleeves today. It's a hot day for the hot for the uh, long sleeves, but he wants to wear them, and he's got the ball again. Watts up towards half Should forward. Have short. Cleared the initial contest inside 50. Tiller will chase this one down. It'll keep it in for now. At left uh, left back pocket. Oh! And it was a lucky kick. It was a good kick, well weighted, and Bird took the mark. And they'll go with the switch towards the other side. They've done this a few times so far today. Avondale Heights all by himself on the outer wing. The mark is taken by Blair Kelly and goes for a bit of a stroll. A bit of a Saturday afternoon stroll in the sunshine here at Cooper. It goes up towards half forward. Lucky bounce. No mark taken. We're very close to the line now. It goes out, throw in right half forward, Avondale Heights. A couple of times we've seen the Avondale boys look to try and put body on, look to try and be sort of physical and a bit intimidating when really they should be concentrating on just being clean with the footy. If they can just go two hands at the footy every time, I reckon it's going to see a bit of a change in, in their amount of possession time. Ball, 55 metres out for Avondale Heights. Opportunity for them to score. Goes the 50 there, trying to work it in there. A lot of players around the ball. All of a sudden, Airport West Sewer looks like Carew. So might clear. Beautiful kick. And as Clayton Rogers marks it right on centre wing, has had a fantastic season for Airport West. He comes down the line. He's going to kick basically straight to, to, uh, to burn there for, from Avondale Heights. So he should be looking into the corridor a bit at this stage. Rogers now goes towards centre forward. He's gone to a two-on-one contest. It's going over the heads. All of a sudden now it's inside the Avondale 50. He's got two-on-one. They're going to get out of trouble here through Ralston. Ralston now gives it to the Avondale player. Is he going to keep it in? It? Oh, falls for his leg. And this is uh, Taylor Jones here. He's had a few little fumbles early. Tries to tackle the Airport West player. We can't see across. Right on the boundary there. Out of wing here at Kobe. Gunpoint's going to ball it up. Probably just advantaging the Airport West side. And just having to jitter some of the Avondale players, even when they're two versus one. Yeah, Micah, what are your thoughts? What would you do differently? Right now, I reckon that... Uh, you are a former Avondale Heights assistant coach, Micah, too. Nah, correct. Right now, it's about just being composed. They need to get the footy, they need to slow it down and just maintain and take a little bit of time out of the Airport West game. If Conversely, if you're Airport West, I reckon they need to just honour the short kick a little bit more often. They're sort of trying to bomb a bit long. Yes, Here's a short it? pass and away. Look what happens. Beautiful. Ricky McVay, it was. He had a beautiful uh, pass inside to Marcus Ken, who marks 25 out, 45 degree angle, wind behind his back, and could slot his third goal in this first quarter. Adam Sarikoglu, you're the stats man. 
Uh, you're the, uh, the uh, sorry, his second goal, excuse me. One of, the, one of the interesting things about football that hasn't changed in, since the inception, if you've got the footy, the opposition hasn't, and uh, basically the longer you can have it for, the harder it is for them to score. Airport West have probably cost themselves a few more opportunities by going a bit longer and not sort of honouring that short lead. In that particular instance, they had a bit of space. They've hit Kenny on the lead, and uh, now he's having a shot from uh, about 35, 40 out. Marcus Kenny just pips it a little bit, and he's kicked it. He's happy, the SS and Reserves player. And local league journeyman is playing his third season straight for Airport West has kicked an absolute ripper and it's 4-125 Airport West. Avondale Heights yet to score. We are kicking though to a probably four goal win. But just to start Airport West football. Just an update from uh, Highgate Reserve there coming through from Teo Palazzieri. 15 minutes and it's all contested. Uh, Greenvale zero goals, two points. Aberfeldy one goal, two. Best for Greenvale is by so best for Aberfeldy at the moment is Cabillo. Two tough physical players there. Thank you Teo Palazzieri. As Adam Saracoli takes us. Gee, even that uh, bounce from the umpire was a good bounce, and then the wind took it. We're back That's in the middle. 15 minutes played, first quarter, yeah. and Avondale Heights get a free kick. And Avondale Heights win another centre clearance and another high chip kick into the forward line. This time it's come off. Mark was taken there by Blair Kelly, went inside 50. Clever, he throws. clever. He hasn't really touched the ball just yet today. Boyd did well up against him. Still, there's no room for them to work with. Now Rose gets his hands on the ball, might have to chase down his own handball in the end. Just amazing pressure from Airport West at the moment. They can't get clear boots of ball. Grabowski got involved as well. Blair Kelly again. Now the turnover comes. Burkhart got on the end of it and slapped it forward for Airport West. It's uh, Clayton Rogers. Up against uh, Athanasio at the moment, and a few more players coming to assist as well. Megan's been excellent so far for Avondale Heights. Got another touch, but again, turnover came. Airport West bouncing ball inside 50 for them. Good Dylan Wolfgram did well, and he's got some space to work with. He'll repel this one out towards the outer wing. Contest came. Clayton Rogers did well. Got it to ground level, picked it up, slapped it again inside 50. High left football. Kenny. Oh! Out the back is a chance here if he can keep it in for uh, Simon Hogan, but he can't. It's a throw in left forward pocket. Depending on who you're barking for today, it was either an unlucky bounce for the Airport West or a very, very lucky bounce here for the Avondale Heights side. Dominic the Snake Horse Center got a big smile on his face here in the commentary box. The in and in the sanctum here at Airport West. Umpire throws it in 30 metres out from 25 from Airport West goal. Avondale desperate. Crevino was there. Was he taken high? The umpire said yes. No, he's called it a ball up. So it looked like he may have slipped and uh, they pounced on him. And the ball will be thrown up right on the boundary, probably 18 to 20 metres out, out of side there. Uh, Nathan Byrne wins it, goes straight to Till. It's a oh. shocker. Puts it in about uh, space there. They have numbers here, Avondale Heights, two and a one. They're going to clear. Megan gives it the one, two. All of a sudden, now they're going to run it out through. Uh, oh, great kick. It looked like... Well, uh, it maybe not. Uh, yep, and the uh, boy is at center back. Excuse me, uh, not in the record there, number 41, uh, but is next, so... Uh, Bezenic, yeah, that's Bezenic. young Denko there, come screaming ahead, no options. Out of the peripherals, he's uh, noticed the player there and almost hit him with an almost sideways kick. That was very, almost very clever. Walsh just used his strength there, out muscle the uh, Avondale Heights Ruckman there. But they're going to clear the heights again. They're doing what the stops is. Megan's been good. Gives it to Carivino. Oh, he was taken high by Watts. And a free kick there to Matt Carivino against James Watson. That sometimes can be overly aggressive, Dom. Yeah, but silly free kicks are uh, finals games that you, you just can't afford to do that. you just got to be disciplined throughout because they're going to cost you because every kick, every hand matters. Broadcast wing and again Scout's going to pick it up for Airport West. He's got a man in the middle. Yeah, and there's the even upper. Oh, now this will go against the Airport West players if they're a bit silly. That's the even upper from the high tackle before on Hogan and uh, uh, Cravino there's just been a little bit sort of uh, rougher than he needed to be. Jesse McVeigh goes bang from 50 and it's going to be out of bounds on the full. Another, another example of that sort of rush to the kick. He had a bit more time than what he did as uh, Airport West start ringing the changes. Deep in the forward pocket now it's going to be a kick there. Looks like Tiller boys. Yeah, it is uh, Stephen Tiller who's just going to go. He always has the shoulder band. He's just in the, uh, Adam? Certainly does. As does this man. Di Martino, who takes a good mark Strong. and very quickly. Oh, it's no. The runner. The pass wasn't great from Bezenic. Runner gets in the way great as well. Mother. It's a lot of bodies flying at the moment. Ralston's going to get the clearance in the end for Avondale Heights. Bouncing ball on centre wing. They just can't penetrate at the moment. The Heights. Ball's up for grabs Ooh. in the middle. Caruso. That's got pounced on by Crevino. He's Up-pies. tough as nails, Caruso. He's, look, that's a really good battle, that one. It could be one of your uh, Monday or uh, Friday night shows between uh, Corazu and Cravino. Yeah. Two on one out here for Airport West as well, if they use it wisely, is the Saliba. Just goes short inside 50. Walsh takes the mark as good as uh, directly in front. Will kick from 55 if he has a shot. No leads on at the moment. And guys, Anna Harrington has just joined us in the box. Anna, welcome. Yeah, sorry boys, a uh, police operation happening at Southern Cross Station, uh, stuffed around public transport today. Walsh goes to goal and kicks a goal for Airport West, that's their fifth. 
If you can believe that, Avondale Heights have not scored. Airport West, 5-1, 31, 19 minutes played. That's a big goal by Andrew Walsh. The big fella, 6 foot 5, 120 kilos, has kicked an absolute beauty. And uh, Anna, perfect day of football. Great to have you on the commentary team. And an unbelievable start to the Airport West Eagles. One thing I did say on the NFL TV, they've got recent final experiences. Yes, it was now second division, but uh, they've had uh, good uh, experience in the last two years. Where Avondale Heights haven't played an NFL for senior final for six years now, and it could show early, but the wind is strong. Walsh now, uh, Sharks are down to Scounds. He's been good, the tough uh, ex-North Shore captain. Oh, Rogers was hit hard. Cravino's been gutsy. Hard tackle by Barbero, and the boy is in centre wing. About 60 metres out directly in front of Avondale Heights' goal. We've had six centre bounces for the day, and that's the first centre clearance that uh, Airport West have won, and yet there's an Avondale... The was partially smothered, but the Correct. big fist by Walsh. It's 30 metres out. Airport West 2-1. The 1-1. Trent scores is 20 out. Has kicked an absolute beauty. And all of a sudden, it is six goals, one thirty-seven. Avondale Heights get the score. 20 minutes into this first quarter. EDFL elimination slash first semi-final. And Trent Scorses back for the Eagle Kicks. An absolute beauty. But it was Rick McVeigh beating two opponents who gave that tap out of Harrington. And it's all the Eagles at the moment. Yeah, well, if there's one thing we know about Airport West, it's that they love to come to play against big opponents, big games. We saw them smash Greenvale a few weeks ago, and they would have come out today and said, right, boys, Avondale Heights had the form against us, but this is finals, and this is a completely different ball game. This is our ball game, and they've done that. It's back in the middle again, and it looks like Avondale Heights will get yet another clearance, and Megan, yet again, unsurprisingly, is involved. Josh Young got the receiving handball, went inside 50 with the kick. Target was still into Brett. He's got a couple of beat. And in the end, the boundary line is the uh, winner of that battle and will have a throw in. Structural change to the Airport West forward line. They've taken Dimitina off and brought on uh, Dean DeCipio there. I think that's a little bit more of a mobile type and someone probably a bit cleaner with, the, with his hands below his knees too. Former captain of the club too. Correct. Great bloke. Another easy rebound 50 for Airport West and they've got it to centre wing and the coach has got it. Contessa up towards half forward, went for the corridor. There was no real target for the kick. The lead wasn't all that great, but that man will end up with it. In the end, it's a bouncing ball. Bouncing. Ricky McVeigh. Oh. Ricky McVeigh kicks up uh, Airport West 7-1-43. Seven. Seven, this is an absolute riot already. 21 and a half minutes have ticked by Avondale Heights. Nothing. They're absolute <laughs> shell shock the Heights. They dominated the first two minutes, but they have been stunned by this hard, physical Airport West side who know to play finals who are structured extremely well. They've got a fantastic spine. But you start with Boyd and Fulton down back. Uh, it's Rogers, Kenny up forward, and then Walsh, and uh, they're killing him at the moment. Ruckman go up again. It's Walsh again. Byrne giving a couple of inches away. Walsh now tries a pass through. Gives yeah, the yeah, high fend off going. there, and he's just pushed him away as yep. well. Good call there by Uncle Michael. He's uh, he's done. Uh, sorry, umpire Michael, not Uncle. No relation at all. Same sort of haircut. Yep. But um, the other thing is with uh, with having no heights. Byrne's generally been over the years a centre half back. With the, losing Prado a week before the season, he's had to play a lot in the ruck this year. And when he comes up against a giant like Walsh, it really affects uh, the, the tough stoppages. And uh, as you've seen. Airports have dominated the ruck, but it's Nathan Byrne has it straight in the centre. Looks to go across. Balls up. It's Adrian Aparo in front. Good spoil there by the defender. It was Guy Barbudo. Gives it to uh, Saliba. Saliba in a, a two versus one. What can he do? It was the one from Avondale Bar. Top is done well. Free kick. And now it's a ball up. Half forward flank. About 65, 70 metres out of... Oh, there it is. Free kick. Well done, umpire. Cravino is just an angry little painful God, person. And Saliba's not the most disciplined. No, but time. he's just clever. He's just gave him a little tap there on the shoulder and... Uh, He's given him a little love tap and the umpire's seen it and done what every good umpire does and pays a free kick straight Very away. Very Heath Ayers like Grabowski goes inside. It's a paro again. Gives a backward handball now. Matthew Cravino, 55 oh. out. Goes across, but there's nobody there. And it's Airport West that might clear. They've got a two-on-a-one situation. It's uh, Sam Boyd and Scown. Oh, they fumble at the moment, though. The Avondale Ford does that's well. Scown looks like he's hurt, but it's gone out of bounds. And that's a good win there for Avondale Heights. Look, it was uh, the right option there by Cravino with the kick, but it was a terrible kick in the end. Uh, you know, as I said, right thought processes terrible uh, execution and um, Blair Kelly's done really really well in a two on one terrible handball there by Boyd didn't help his teammate out there at all right uh, right half forward at the moment Avondale Heights through Cravino get one to the top of the square it's a wobbler and Patrick Rose was third man up couldn't take the mark from too deep and again another easy rebound 50 this time it's via a free kick for Airport West and they're going to the broadcast wing it might be on behind play but look at the space here 
Barbudo. I think it's uh, Barbudo. He's a great guy. He can go up towards half forward and looking into the sun. Lost it. Did Scorsus. Has a goal as does Ricky Mitchell. Oh! Rubino gets involved again. <laughs> and that's about the third time today he's got a free kick for a high tackle. Yeah, he may have some sort of headache tonight. Uh, 25 minutes into the uh, the, the uh, Highgate game and we've got Aberfeldy four goals, five to Greenvale, three points. Hemel has, missed, a win. has a miss from the goal square and Hislops are dominating as a report so far. That was a big hit Adam Contessa gave Corvano then, didn't he, Adam? It certainly was, and as we said, it's probably the third time that he's, he's looking a bit sore at the moment. First well. contested mark from there. Avondale Heights there too, boys. Finally, someone from the forward line has caught a footy. It was taken by Dylan DeBritt, who found Reese Macon, who should get there first. He nice. had run, sent it to Patrick Rose. They needed that. They point, just needed some confidence. Point blank range. He has a bit of a chat with Sam Boyd as well. And he should get Avondale Heights first after 25 minutes of action. If you could heat map where Reese Megan has had the footy, he's got it in the middle, he's had it down back, and he's had it on both sides of the ground. The amount of work that that bloke's done, and he has not had a, uh, had not had a rest yet. That was fantastic. Excellent release to Cravino, and uh, a lovely kick there into, into Patrick Rose. Yeah, with Cravino, he's clearly been Avondale's best player, Reese Megan. It's going for goal number 105 for the season, Patrick Rose. It's a very careful approach. We're used to that. And he'll just poke at it. And kick the goal towards the aquatic centre end here at Coburg. That's the first goal of the game for Avondale Heights. It took 25 minutes to get it, but they're finally on the board. One straight for Avondale Heights. Airport West, the 7 one It came about because they've actually finally got a forward who can catch a footy. And it's disappointing because you, you want finals to be good, tough games of footy. We've got that. You want it to be close games of footy, and we haven't got that. It was really good there by DeBritty. Came out, presented, and got the hands up high early. Caught the footy, released it, and then gave their forwards a chance, which is a bit of a change in the way that they've been playing their footy so far today. Yeah, it's the first time we've actually seen any composure at all from the Heights. Uh, they've been playing like they've... Uh had goals getting kicked against them, even in their forward line. That immense pressure. It's, and uh, even when they have looked composed or had time, they've just butchered the kick. So that's the first time that they've actually been effective inside forward 50. Good call, Anna. Good Good tap out, boy. Airport West. Uh, all of a sudden now it looks goal. like it's Grabowski. Calling it now, boys. A goal. goal. Grabowski again on the left forward. It was an ugly kick. But Rose is there. Uh, forward pocket, deep in the forward pocket for Avondale Heights. Can they get a second goal? Oh, they're desperate at the moment. It's right in front of the points. A lot of players scramble. Watch his for Airport West. Puts in a strong cat tackle. Up what calls play on. I think it's... Oh, he hasn't. No. A paro might have been. Avondale has gone across the face to go. Excuse the size, but Avondale Heights are going to sneak Megan. Oh, he's missed. Oh, my goodness. From three metres out. Went the check side. Look, thought that... I thought that Grabowski could have ran further and Gell actually got on his right foot properly and kicked the goal, but he instead he tried to pass to Rose, which was in front of the point post. I don't think he knew how much space he nah. had, uh, Grabowski. And all of a sudden, now Airport West have it on the outer wing out of Sorokoglu. It's in towards the corridor. They go. Burns going to get on the end of this one. He gets a very little chipper kick out wide towards the outer wing. It'll trickle over, trickle over the line before John McKay can get to it. And we'll have a throw in. Megan hasn't had a spell yet, boys. He's either uh, a supreme fit bloke or he's uh, going to be in a bit of trouble in the last quarter. Hot day like today. The water boys are getting the work out, as two other runners. But, uh, yeah, he hasn't had a break for mine yet, and that's sort of a bit concerning. The ground, around the grounds, quarter time at Tullamarie, Mooney Valley, 2-1-13, East Keelor, 3-1-19. One, one goal lead in favour of the Cougars. That is a prelim, and the prize is a spot in the grand final against Hillside next week. At Windsor Hill. It's a ball up here at Coburg City Oval. Free kick, Avondale Heights, and they've had a few of those lately. And guess who's got it? Reese Megan. It's only because Cravino's having a spell. It probably would have been a free kick to him if he's out there. He's uh, had that many today already. Gives it across the bar top. Bar, bar top, Matty. Bar top was uh, out of the uh, Chopper movies, I think, brother. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't watch that uh, as many times. Just as over the road, just over the road from the, uh, the old Pentridge Land as well, which is a lovely set of uh, place now. Nice little cafe there, apparently. Lucky it's not open, mate. You may have ended up in there. <laughs> Boys, uh, Reese Megan now just a kick behind play. I think uh, earning a little bit of a break while them still keeping him on the field. Uh, he makes things happen when he's around the ball, so the height's pretty keen to keep him on there. Great tackle. Barbera, though, gives the handball now. Looks like the scout. Scout goes inside 50. Two and a one. They've got the uh, Philip Smith all by himself. And strong, I think it might have Taylor been. Taylor Jones that time. He's looked a bit stronger over the footy that, that particular instance. Yeah, started a little bit oh, nervously, no. but the kick wasn't great as well. But Evan Hoss will be desperate now not to concede another goal after uh, getting there first, just going in you know, six, go six goals down, but uh, they have it across half-back. It is, uh, once again, Chris Megan, and Cravino comes on, Barbero, 
His tagger comes straight back on to follow him. All of a sudden, Avondale tried to go inside 50. Barbudo, was he held? Umpire calls play out of power. was tough there. Cravino, that man's here as well. It's on half forward for Avondale Heights. 65 out. Umpire's going to call a baller. There's a few different blokes out there on the, on the ground today uh, that do weights for different reasons. And uh, Adrian Aparo does them to look pretty and to be strong. And he is uh, really, really strong over the footy on a few occasions so far. A great uh, servant for the Avondale Heights Football Club, Adrian Paro. Left half forward for Avanzar Heights. They got the last one, this one, but before that they kick seven the other way. It did Airport West, so they lead at the moment by 36 Speed points. Start. But here's a chance. It's uh, Grabowski. Josh, I think it was. A little underground. Oh! Saliba took him out of play. And we'll have a throw in. Yeah, look, uh, unceremoniously dumped after he got rid of the footy there. No free kick ensuing, but uh, we thought we were going to see goal of the day from Josh Grabowski, but don't worry, it probably will come a bit later. Apologies, it was James Watts with that uh, bump. It's the leader of what's in the long sleeves, uh, and they're two guys that love the physical aspect of uh, local football. It's a ball up at the moment, left half, uh, left forward pocket for Avondale Heights. It's 7 1 43, Airport West, Avondale Heights, 1 1 7. And as usual, no space for Avondale Heights to work it, but they found the loose man out wide. Bartrop gave it off. There's a chance if they can get Ooh. this ball, and it's going to be Grabowski. Had some time to steady. The Gets younger. Avondale Heights get two in a row. Nick Grabowski. The younger, hairier brother of the uh, much more, I think I'm a bit prettier, Josh Grabowski. Both believe that they're the quickest blokes coming out of Geelong to play at Avondale Heights. And uh, one day they'll, uh, they'll actually compare themselves. But again, we're seeing more footy played in the Avondale Heights end of the ground. As Anna made mention earlier, they, they are starting to look a bit more composed. And, and uh, Harris comes to the be oh, Sorry, Harris just comes back onto the ground now. We, uh, we haven't seen um, sort of too much footy deep in, in clear space for the airport west side. 30 and a half minutes gone and Avondale Heights are 2 1 13, Airport West 7 1 43 back in the middle. It's been a huge last six minutes for Avondale Heights. Got themselves back in this game. Could have been all over without a score, but uh, goes in the middle, second clearance. And the umpire has now pulled a free kick to Avondale oh. Heights and they're winning everything. It's Megan again. He might be up in the votes. Beautiful kick. Uh, oh, he dropped what he should have. Uh, Taken there, and uh, Barbudo gives it backwards to score since he slipped at a crucial time. Good handball, though. Caruso's there. So he's got it. Barbero, what can he do? It's a shocking kick. Ends up in the hands of Scowns now. It goes inside 50. Two on a one. It's all Avondale. Oh, he dropped what he should have taken. Rogers. Rogers on the left. It's a two on one. Kenny, what can he do? Barges through hard. He, oh, was he held? No. Avondale Heights have numbers. They're under uh, stress in their back line. It was McVeigh the tackle, but they're going to clear. And Grabowski, what can he do? Oh, big hit by Scorses. Did very well, Trent Scorses. Gives it to Saliba. They're 60 oh, out. Of... It fell off Whoa. his knee. Yeah, good call, Boundary. Very good call. Off the top of his knee. It's not on the floor. And the ball be out of bounds 55 metres out in front of a huge vocal crowd here at Kobeck City Oval. Probably uh, close to 2,000 in attendance here today. Ball gets thrown in. Walsh versus Burnham. Walsh did it easy. Scores this inside 50 again and falls in the hand to uh, young Phil Smith who has it in the back pocket. This is, this is where they've looked their most vulnerable, Avondale Heights, as the siren blows there. What an unbelievable first quarter of football in his first elimination final. Other than the first minute, it was all Airport West for about 24 minutes straight where they kicked seven goals in a row. But Avondale Heights, what they've done all year, they've played good football. They fought back in that last seven minutes to kick two very, very crucial goals against this four to five goal wind and keep themselves in the game. For all those just listening, 2 1 13, Avondale Heights trailing by 30 points, Airport West 7 1. 43, some goal kickers and best players, guys. Yeah, it's uh, for Airport West, two to Daniel Harrison, two absolute rippers as well. One a bit controversial, but they're both certainly pretty to look at. Marcus Kenny also, two singles, Ricky McVeigh, Andrew Walsh, Trent Scorses for Airport West, Avondale Heights, Nick Grabowski with that goal right on the death. And Patrick Rose with one as well. Best players for the Avondale Heights Footy Club at the moment. You have to say Cravino is probably best on. He's uh, been hard at it in and under. We've also um, been uh, at the moment. Second term about to start. Anna very quickly. Sight guys, his thoughts. Um, he did say that quarter was dismal, but plenty of praise for that last seven or eight minutes. Essentially, Heights need to focus and keep using that pace and toughness around the contest. Quick clearance now, and it's got another... It's a free kick going to Grabowski against, I think it's Gauchy, um, for a hold. As you're trying to run into the centre square, the umpire's picked it up, released a young... Oh, no. Josh Young then fumbled again. He hasn't been himself today, Grabowski. Great uh, sharp by Scout. He's been everywhere today, Lee Scout. Gives a quick handball. Was to Hogan. 
Simon Hogan's kick wasn't great, but it's that big win. Megan again, he's been tripped. Great hard footy by Reese Megan. Has the ball on centre wing for Avenel Heights. They're going to go across the face. They're all Avenel Heights here. Joshy Free was strong. Joshy Free now goes across. Yeah, ball by himself is Philip Smith. He's 60 but he slipped. Uh, Daniel Harris is there, trying to go through him. Harris is a good tackle. Gives it now to uh, uh, Josh Free. Josh Free, son of Tony Free, Richmond legend. Nearly kicks a strong goal for Avenel Heights. Touch on the line by Urquhart. And first score to Avenel Heights, 2-2. 14, 29 points down to Airport West, 7 1, 43. Free one kick. minute into this second quarter. It's a free kick going to Di Martino. For, uh, it's a, it looks like it's against Fulton, who is, uh, he's not sure what he's done wrong, and we sort of missed it other than the umpires blowing the whistle. So they're really watching the behind the play Nichols it's, here it's in, in Airport West's defence. Interesting if the free kick's um, been paid there, it should be on yeah, the goal square. I would square. have thought. But anyway, that's, um, look, he's kicking down the hill with a breeze, so maybe they think that's what evens it up. Yeah, he's a massive kick. Former Keelo uh, Junior, played at Cobit, uh, Maradon Park, then played with the Cobit, played in the Premiership last year, Nick Dimitino. He's been a good find for Avondale this year. Huge kick, 55 out directly in front. Has a strong win. It's going to carry, but it's going to hook, and he just sneaks into a point, and another behind Avondale Heights. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so I think it's 2-3, excuse me. The scoreboard man's just having a nap. Uh, to our Airport West 7 1 43, 28 minutes into this sec- uh, 28 points, uh, two minutes into this second quarter. Gavin Urquhart, the man bringing it in for Airport West. Oh, just drills it. That's not a great one. Slipped over, did once at the wrong moment, but they might recover here. Airport West, now, kick comes, del- forecast wing, takes that's a as bounce. as deliberate as it comes. Experience. He's kicked it to no one there, and he could have released sideways to Gauchi, who just reminds him that I'm wearing an Airport West jumper. You probably could have given it to me. But uh, no free kick, so play on. Throw in broadcast wing, burn up against Walsh. Walsh from behind, one that's tapped out. Barbero was there, but he couldn't get it. He's got the, he's actually uh, following around Cravino at the moment. Very close to the line indeed. In the hands at the moment, Afanasio got boots of ball, didn't go far. Good pressure from David Saliba. Throw in in front of us. Gets up a bit gingerly, got both knees there heavily strapped, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look to be moving uh, very freely at all. Harris just uh, poking outside the contest here, looking dangerous as. He's kicked two goals already as well, Daniel Harris, today. As the umpire brings this ball in, Walsh on all fours, tried to pick up the ball. It was claimed, I think, Saliba again, or maybe Scout, and we'll have a ball up. It was Saliba. Big Walsh is a big, big unit. Came from the Geelong League, uh, three, four years spent in the Geelong VFL list. He kicked a nice goal in the opening term as well. Barbero had it and lost it. Saliba got it, and a very quick clearance out. Simon oh. again, he tried to find the boundary again. Did smart, that though, smart. Yeah. Look, the Airport West player there, I think we said it was scowling. He was actually coming off the ground. All he needed to do was turn around. It would have bounced into his hands, but uh, he was uh, doing what every good uh, team player does and get off the ground quickly. So it's a slow start to this second term so far. It is, uh, the scoreboard says 2 2 15. I'm pretty sure it's 2 3 15. Avondale Heights Airport West 7 1. 43, we've played three and a half, and we'll have this time a ball up. Okay, and uh, a lot of players around the ball in front of a big crowd. Go, going to go up again. Byrne versus uh, Walsh. Walsh just does it easy. Tries to grab it. Gives it back on Hairball. Oh, fumbled Silesia. Then he slipped. Bad, bad mistake. Cravino's there to clean up. Goes inside. He's been everywhere, uh, Blair. What can he do? He's got that ponytail uh, look, but tough as nails with Brennan Goddard. And Godden back is a hard, elusive player. He's across half back there. Anna Harrington, quickly. Uh, no, it's uh, good to see it get back into that forward 50. Avondale Heights with all the all the play at the moment, and uh, they really need to lock it in here. They're not giving too many exits for Airport West, who are just happy to let it trickle over at every opportunity. Taylor Jones is really well there. Got a bit of body on, uh, on uh, Clayton Rogers and, and didn't allow him to uh, get a free run at the footy. Boundary throw in right in front of us at the moment. We've played four minutes so far into the second term. Umpire will bring this ball in over the top, Walsh. Umpire spots a free kick. It's a high contact, and Avond- Avond- Avondale Heights ball. Burns going to beat a man to take it. I'd love to see the free kick count because it won't be favourable for Airport West so far today. We're inside 50. Di Martino couldn't take the mark. Urquhart was there as well. Now Rose got tackled, and trying the impossible was Grabowski. We'll have a throw in. <laughs> Well, there was, if there was one thing that um, Garzi was making a point of at quarter time was that with that win, they don't want to just be kicking behinds or letting them rush through behinds. It's just an awful mistake when you're going with the wind, just putting that little bit too much on the kick. Accuracy is uh, crucial, I think, when you're going with the wind. Apologies, it was a behind. 2 4 16 for Avondale Heights as Urquhart went towards the outer side yet again. A lot of players around this ball. It's been all Avondale Heights so far this quarter. The only thing missing is a goal. Megan ran around in circles, went towards half four. Bartrop. We'll take the mark. He's got numbers in board. 
Doesn't want to look there. He's looking down the line. Where's Patrick Rose? That's the big question. When inside 50. Instead, the Brit was the target. Couldn't take the mark. Left forward pocket. Crevino received the hairball and then lost it straight away. And he was taken out of bounds by Daniel Harris. Throw in five and a half minutes played. Ball all in uh, Avondale Heights, sort of end of the ground at this stage, which is sort of what we expected with the breeze going the way that it is. And, and it's uh, in the forward pocket at the moment. Chance for Avondale Heights to strike, but there's just no room for them to work with. Airport West have been just clogging up that uh, forward 50 for Avondale Heights so far today. All up at the top of the square. And the Heights, with all the movement so far, they really need to capitalise on this. They almost forget that they are trailing by almost five goals. Walsh slaps it, goal side. And a real, little clearance from Airport West gains about 40 metres throw in where the 50 meets the boundary. Six minutes played into the second turn. Interestingly enough, the way that Airport West were moving the footy out in the first half of the ground was sort of one release and then a big long kick. And you sort of don't realise that that's not exactly the most sort of structured way to bring it out. Now working into the breeze, they, they've tried the same sort of thing, but it's just been a 25 metre sort of kick to the boundary. They're not getting any clearance. Still in the left forward pocket at the moment and there's no room to work with at the moment. Hogan got a possession, got the ball out and Airport West will finally clear it, but the kick went to a two-on-one off the shins of Nathan Byrne will have a throw in. And a couple of jumpers uh, with different numbers. Avenue Heights have got a 26 out there, it looks like. So just for the uh, the guys watching it around the ground with their radio, we'll try to find the... Uh, it's, it's Nick DiMatino. Okay, so it uh, wasn't on the other uh, team, so that's good that... I think they're playing a few tricks, the old team managers, before the game, too, because he was out last week. But uh, uh, we'll go back to play. It's across the uh, wing now. It's just probably suiting it, but where's this style of play, Adam? Slow uh, slow football against a strong wind and really wanting to prevent Avondale Heats Kites kicking early goals like Airport West did in that first quarter. Well, like I said, they keep getting numbers back as well, Airport West. They're making it very difficult. They are. As uh, Avondale Heights are desperate to try to get inside 50. Airport West doing very well. McVeigh's in there. So is Caruso. And coming in hard with Scow, and he's a physical unit, and he's really been good in the uh, stoppages here for Airport West as they throw it up again. Byrne versus Walsh. Byrne now gets a mobile tap out. Oh, Cravino's in hard. So is Barbero. Having no heights, they could be out here. Was he tripped? He got a free kick for the exact same thing before, fellas, and nothing that time. Uh, maybe they've woken up to that sort of jump by uh, Megan. Goes inside 50. That's Joshua Young. Carries a little bit. All by himself. He's the big fella, Di Martino. Di Martino was strong then and nearly set up a goal, but it gets tapped through for a behind and another behind. Uh, a scoreboard reached 2 4, but it is 2 5 17. Avondale Heights trailing Airport West 7 1 43. Absolute cracking game of football. We're eight minutes into this second quarter. And every time we're still kicking is good football, bad kicking's bad football. One scoring shot less, Avondale Heights. But look how much they're trailing by. It's all about taking your options when you get them with the wind, and they've not done that so far. Gavin Urquhart to the outer side. Seems uh, both teams are happy to use that outer <laughs> side when they're kicking into the wind today. There might be something to that as Barbero gets the ball to centre wing. But in the hole and took the mark on centre wing out of side looking in board but he can't quite find that obvious target and McMagan just presented at half four takes the mark now very close to the boundary line when he's like 50 brilliant pass and Blair Kelly takes the mark on a 45 degree angle will kick from 50 if indeed he decides to have a shot. Urquhart was uh, is his direct opponent at the moment and he basically just conceded after about three steps on the lead and allow him to uh, to to basically mark the ball within 15 minutes, 15 metres of clear space. It's uh, pretty poor depend, defending from an ex-AFL player. So Be uh, Blair Kelly's had a pretty good game so far. Unloads from 50. Goal on Pye just Ooh, it's a, good a one. bit, but I think he likes it. It's a goal for Avondale Heights. The applause from the fans here next to us in the broadcast box. And they get their third. It is 3-5-23. Avondale Heights Airport West 7-5-43. 20 point lead last. Three goals of the game belong to Avondale Heights. Great, uh, great goal. He has been uh, a fine for uh, Avondale this year too, Blair Kelly. He's been explosive today and uh, really been uh, one of the dangerous little forwards here. Rose, uh, he's just been so quiet. It, it's, he hasn't had many chances, but hasn't touched the ball more than two or three times in uh, in 41 minutes of play now. So uh, now that's going to be interesting how he goes for the rest of this game. So Lever's in hard, but he's wrapped up by Philip Smith. And uh, the crowd really getting into this game. And it's absolutely cracking uh, game. Big crowd. Weather's beautiful today, Anna Harrington. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see with Rose uh, the potential to maybe use him as a bit more of a decoy and let guys like Kelly finish off the work. Because it doesn't matter who kicks the goal as long as you kick him. And if you keep going to 
Rose and he's not marking it, then you're going to be in a bit of strife. French Horse has got out to contest. The contest gave it to McVeigh. Got it done, the one two out of contest. Doing beautifully at the age of 34. The ex Western Bulldogs player fell into Clayton Rogers' hands, but it got tapped out of bounds. And we're about 55 out from Airport West's goal. And they haven't had many inside 50s against it. Really a four to five, five goal breeze. Here at Coburg City Oval, maybe question three or four, but they're going to uh, have a chance now. Walsh gets a beautiful shark there. It was too much on it for Harris. Ball goes, though, into 40 metres from Airport West's goal. In hard was the uh, Avondale player, Wolf Grammy strong. Up high has caught a free. Oh Nah, just, just playing funny games, those two uh, there. Yeah. And Wolf Grimm, and even Contessa's in there. Some strong units there, Adam Contessa and Wolf Grimm. The, uh, the punch back was from Josh Young, but goes straight in the hands of Saliba. Saliba, ugly kick to Kenny. He's in front. Robbing Jesse McVeigh. He could kick an absolute oh, ripping goal. Yes. I think he snuck it in. Yeah. But Jesse McVeigh has kicked the goal that Airport West needed. Ugly kick from Saliba, but Kenny in front. Gave his crummer every opportunity, and like a true crummer, Jesse McVeigh was here and kicks an absolute beautiful goal. Airport West back, 8-1, 49-3, I think 6-24. So uh, a huge, huge goal there to the Airport West Footy Club. Great, great, sorry, and a great work there by uh, Marcus Kenny to just basically stand there and be the screen for for uh, young Ricky McVeigh to, uh, sorry, Jesse McVeigh to run around. But, yeah, lovely snap there on the left to kick the goal. Excuse the scores are 3-5-23. Uh, Avondale Heights here, boys. 8 one It is uh, 26 points in Adam Saracoglu. 11 and a half minutes played. Great Second tackle. Term, and a big tackle was laid up by through his arms up and said play on. Scores is trying Another to great tackle. And Bacon brought him down, holding yeah. the ball. Brilliant Free footy. Kick. The pressure's been mounted by Avondale Heights inside 50 now. Megan went very quickly up towards oh, Dimartino word, between boy. towers with Rose. And Dimartino can go to Rose. He's by himself in the square. Where the kick. And he snaps a goal. Quick reply. For Avondale Heights, this game is well and truly alive now. Don't worry about that. 4 5 29, Avondale Heights, Airport West, 8 1. 49, 20 point lead, 12 minutes play. And uh, at that quarter time huddle, Sad Garth made a real point of if you're going to kick it long with the wind, kick it to a contest where we can either mark it or bring it down to a crummer. Perfect bit of play there, and Paddy Rose, the beneficiary. Great kick by Rose. Could have kicked it, it just, high and then just chose to go low with the kick and kick below that, the knees. Yeah, that spore by Sam Boyd was very good, but you had to kill it or thump at 30. He didn't, and they gave it over to Rose, so an easy goal to have no heights. Back in the middle, another clearance. This time Young inside 50 for Avondale Heights. Blair Kelly and Martino's lurking again. This time he gives it off. Nick Gabrowski. Oh! It's the behind post and I think it hit it on the full. So it's going to be an airport where Excuse the... Uh, just take. starting to get up and about the heights now. So there's, a a few more, there's a few more sort of inside 50s. They're looking a bit cleaner and their big fellas are starting to, uh, to be a bit more effective as well. Dimitino presenting well. We've got a good player on him in Fulton, but he's been really good as uh, it's a beautiful kick against the wind, but all of a sudden a mark by Crivino just, just inside the chest, boundary. Yeah, chest interesting, mark uh, by, a chest jockey. Mark. Yeah, chest mark by a five-foot-seven bloke. It's uh, not really too positive for having Oh, place. and a smother there. <laughs> Trying to guy Barbudo, so just uh, we, when you pump a bloke's tyres up, it always happens. But the boys on the outer wing, 60 metres out from Avondale, but that's one kick with this uh, four to five goal breeze here at Coburg City over once again 13 and a half minutes into this second quarter to the elimination final. Airport West 8 1 49 lead Avondale Heights by 20 points 4 5 29. Once again, Avondale kicking with the win this second quarter. Walsh tries a shark and a Hogan went over his head. Uh, Gauchi was there also. Megan's been everywhere, excuse me, so is Cravino. <laughs> they gain about five metres for Avenue Heights, but the boys right out in that wing, 55 metres out. And uh, we look at a couple of matchups around the ground as well. Uh, some interesting ones with uh, Aparo when Caruso, two old NFL stores going head to head. Airport West now get a good clearance. McVeigh in front of Wolf Graham and has the ball close to the centre of the ground. Rick McVeigh, proud captain of the uh, Airport West Football Club, goes down the wing. It was a smart kick. Avondale Heights did well on this occasion. They're going to clear. Reese Megan has it on centre wing. Goes uh, in board. He was going to go in board, but went to go down the wing. Urquhart's going to mop this up beautifully. Does well. Good Gavin Urquhart, the ex North Melbourne player. The tackle was good. And not out of trouble yet, Airport West. What can they do? Oh, Godden was in there hard. So it was Barbero. Gets it down to Brickley. Hey, oh, was he taking high? Up was called play, and it's a hot football, 60 metres out. All the overhead handball went straight to the hands of Godden. What can Godden do? Goal. He gives it to Aparo. Aparo is a beautiful kick, 55 metres out. He has oh. hit the post, and as you hear the crowd in the background, could have broke the hearts of Airport West there. 4 6 30, only trailing by 19 points. 8 1 49, and a cracking game of football, 15 minutes into this second quarter. 
Well, boys, you can back yourself in from just about anywhere on this ground. Um, you see the length of Urquhart's kick even going into the window normally. This time just uh, spears it short. I think it's the first time today that uh, we've seen somebody kicking towards the left of Radio Dial. Go towards the broadcast side from the kick in his scout. Gets another possession here. Short kick for Saliba. Went over his head. And the ball will find the boundary line right in front of the broadcast area. Throw in. We've halfway through the second turn. Two possessions in a row there that were clean and crisp by Airport West. It's the first time in a good 15 minutes of footy, too, for this quarter. That's a, a bit of a positive sign. And they've got it to the half-back flank. We've played 15 and a half. So 15 minutes away from the half-time siren as uh, John Afanasio goes inside 50, but it's cut off and well cut off. I think it's Barberto that's got it for Airport West. It was almost uh, called to play on and Rose was uh, just lurking. He kicks up towards, again, the broadcast wing, trying to keep it in, but can't. Is David Caruso, was he taken down? He was taken down, but he was uh, looking for a high tackle when uh, my Uncle Michael, there I've called him again, umpire Michael there, has uh, decided that you actually ducked your head, that's why you don't get the free kick. Umpire will bring this ball in, right in front of the broadcast area. It's a right half four for Avondale Heights. They're trailing only by 19 points. It was 30, not so Megan. long ago as Megan again gets another clearance inside 50 and then gave it up. Gauchy. Kicked it straight into the hands of Gauchi, who just tells his players to settle down a little bit. Then goes long with the kick, fresh off the bench. Going up was Clayton Rogers. Could it take the mark? Ball spilled out. Oh, back, dangerous it kick. It's a very bad switch indeed. Scout took the mark, then ran it to Wolfgang. Oh. But he's got a loose man. Ricky McVeigh's already got one. Oh. Runs onto it now. Graveno won't catch him. Ricky McVeigh from 40. Kicks a goal for Airport West. What a captain's goal by Rick McVeigh against the flower play. 9-1-55, Airport West, Avondale Heights, 4 6 30. And has anyone ever seen a, bl a blind inboard kick pay off ever? That was an absolute shocker of a turnover. Um, Airport West had all the momentum from there and... Uh, yeah, too easy there for McVeigh in the end, I think. They're the, they're the turnovers that can lose your finals, aren't they, Mocker? Well, that's exactly right. You know, you're on the boundary, you turn left, and it's a scrubby kick. It goes over the boundary line, you set up, you clear it uh, into the middle of the ground on the wing, and uh, turnover, bang, mark, flick over the top, he runs in, kicks an open goal. And Beautiful. the desperate play from John McKay, who came off the bench there, he's on it by himself now uh, going across uh, the back line as a loose man. Walsh wins an easy uh, tap out goes now to Simon Hogan, the ex-Cats midfielder. Kisser to Clayton Rogers, does well. Airport West now, they're going in hard. It was Jesse McVeigh, crumb the ball's hot. They're 40 out directly in front. Up high's going to go to ball up, but there's some quality there in Airport West's forward line. Hogan, Rogers, Kenny, McVeigh, brothers, uh, and Scorsus trying to muster a sc another score here. A uh, quick uh, score from... Greenvale, Aberfeldy, Adam. 17 minutes in. Cubillo got a key goal for Aberfeldy uh, into the wing. Greenvale, 3-5. 3-5, uh, what would it be? 23. And Aberfeldy, 7-11, uh, 49. Fantastic uh, results so far for Aberfeldy Football Club. Their first... Uh, sorry, their second it's senior final. Paid down the field. That's a great call by the umpire. Just frustration there from Aparo. And look at the... Boys just come in to remind him that silly people do silly things and that's why Airport West there, uh, Marcus Kenny's going to be having a shot at goal from 45 out on a fairly, uh, you know, decent angle as well. Caruso's that sort of player. He's an ex craig player. play. Uh, gets under the skin and him and Aparo have probably played against each other for close to a decade. He has got and a head you want to smack, Matty. He he's, really. a, he's a great man, Dave Caruso, and he, uh, he's, uh, you know, just sucked in. Excuse the French, uh, excuse the pars they may say in the commentary box here. Um, Adrian Aparo and... No doubt. Coming Sunny from the ground. Yep, they just yep. pointed just to the bench. Him. They haven't even got a player ready, but he's just saying that sort of stuff does, that doesn't cut it here as well. So, uh, but no, look, good coaching by uh, by Sadi to, to, to bring Adrian off there as well. And uh, as uh, Marcus Kenny comes in for his Marcus career. Kenny, 45 out against a strong winner. Can it get the uh, distance? So it's going to go across and rushed behind. And it's 9 2. 56, 26 point lead to uh, uh, Airport West over Avondale Heights, 4 6 30. And he may have made another enemy there. Uh, Reese Megan coming back on the ground. I think he only got his first rest a few minutes ago and he's already been sent back on. So. Uh. Here, we right. Here we go. It's uh, Jesse McVeigh. Jesse McVeigh, apologies. Ooh. For and a let off there for uh, the Heights. That's a huge let off. Jesse McVeigh usually swallows those, but uh, 30 metres out, that could have really broken the hearts of uh, Avondale Heights. But now it's, uh, it's gone out to 27 points and this is what they'd want the Heights 19 and a half minutes in this second quarter. It's a 27-point lead at the moment, and it's going to be Young that goes uh, for high left football. ball. Look at that ball carry. Good 60-metre ball. Almost gets it to true centre wing. And it's an Avondale Heights ball, but burn out a couple of beat. Gains another five metres or so. Throw in right to dead centre of the uh, outer wing there. One of the elite kicks of the competition is Josh Young. He had that shot at goal we saw before that hit the post and a three-quarters away up off one step from inside the centre square, and he's just lobbed out a beautiful sort of 70 metres with the breeze. Just a nice sort of lazy left footer.
We'll have another boundary throw in. That one fell short. And Simon Hogan thought he had the most uh, easiest clearance of his whole career. And now Pye said, no, nah, that can't happen. We've got to have a proper throw in. And that was a much better one as Walsh slaps it forward. But it's a no real advantage and we'll have another ball up. Yeah, Ricky McVeigh's dropped himself behind the footy there now. There's a runner's coming out saying it's time for you to come and have a spell and uh, probably not the best time for him to come from the ground. We've ticked it to time on in the second term. 27-point lead in favour of Airport West and they'll get the clearance. A high one up towards half-forward. Rogers had a couple of beat. And they go inside 50, Airport West here. There's a chance here. Caruso won't bounce. He'll trickle this one through. Will he? Oh, no, it goes across the face. goodness. The dribble kick that Jason Dunstall doesn't like. That's what that <laughs> was, and it's a minor score. No, I can't say I'm a massive fan of them either. When they work, you're beautiful, and if they don't work, you're no good. But in saying that when you're running into a tough breeze like this sometimes, it's a, it can be a safer option when you're 35-48 a run, and you're probably a rover like Caruso's 65-70 uh, you know, kilos, 5 foot 8. Fair call, Mocker. Mate, great call. At the end of the day, if you kick him, you're a gun. If you miss him, you should be sitting next to us. Exactly done. Beautifully says Stephen Tiller. Bruce, a 70 metre kick. It's going to get inside, uh, end inside the 50. It's a sprint here as well. It uh, looks like Guy Barbudo who was uh, trying to outrun. You might be leaking. Talk about the 40-20 the kick. Uh, he's kicked that from the inside, the, inside the fence in 50. Over the fence, 50. yeah. That was Over the, the arcs. Uh, big kick, Stephen Tiller. And it's probably been a little bit quiet by his standards after a sensational year, the ex-Western Bulldogs Sanford listed player. Uh, shark beautifully by Kareen Verino, or oh, Cravino, excuse me. Oh, he's got a still. Oh. See, dribbled it, hit the post. Well, Shark's right. it beautifully, fumbled, looked like it was going out, and just put it onto his boot, hit the post, and Gavin Urquhart uh, breathes a sigh of relief. Another behind for Avondale, 4 7 31. Trailing Airport West, 9 4 58. As Gavin Urquhart, the ex North Melbourne AFL, this play, beautiful kick out to Daniel S David Saliba, the ex Craig Brown Aberfeldy player. He goes across, and beautiful hands there. Looks like out on the full, though. Beautiful. Clayton Rogers. That's the first time he's been able to get some free space on Jones since. Uh, oh, yeah. That's 50, maybe. Yep. Unbelievable scenes here. And this is what happens when forwards get frustrated. They, he hasn't had clear space since, uh, you know, halfway through the first quarter. Uh, he, Taylor Jones has really tightened up beautifully on him. And as a result, the first time he gets the footy, it goes out on the full because the kick was a bit errant. And now his direct opponent, the centre half back, is going to be having a shot 25, maybe 30 metres out and a little bit of an angle. Uh, Clayton Rogers is the best friend of Adam Contessa. I'm tipping he was not going to be uh, too friendly to Clayton Rogers after that uh, against the wind, giving a 50. He's just, and it wasn't probably 50, he's probably copped the 35 metre penalty here. So Avenal Heights, 30 metres oh. out, 45 degree angle, and that could cost Avenal Heights. It, it was no more different. than 35 metres, a 50 metre penalty. Anna Harrison, you'd agree? Yeah, fair call. It was just outside the 50 where he um, actually put it out on the full. So it was interesting that they only brought it back that far. But you oh. still got to kick those anyway. You, uh, yep. you, take, you, what, you take the penalty you get given, yep. and you should be able to clear those ones. So Airport West let off the hook as Urquhart went long. Walsh was the target of the kick, couldn't take the mark. A couple of tackles are laid and trying to get through to oh, traffic. There's yeah. a high tackle, Good free call. kick. I think it's one of the McVeigh boys. And advantage is paid to Saliba. Here's Rogers. Can he make up for his mistake? Gets a free kick on this occasion. And there's the square up as Clayton Rogers has long the ball. Long down the line. Goes with the left foot down the line. You called it, Matty O'Connor. It'll take a bounce. And it bit of pace by the uh, big fella. No, that was two giants running against <laughs> each other, and they just look quick because they've both got their socks pulled up. And I think you'd um, you'd be embarrassing a lot of small people there if you yeah. <laughs> that was a bit of pace. Uh, yeah. Look good, mate, for the other uh, big heavyweights there. 23 minutes gone, second term. They're trading blows, these two, but they can't get a six-pointer. Oh. So Gavin Urquhart takes a good... Good looking chess mark at left half back and he wants to go with the switch. He's got God and free short if he wants him. He does uh, go just straight down the line. Caruso in the end was the man that took it. Goes one way, then the other. High ball inside 50. This is the time to go for those air big airport west forwards and running into trouble as soon oh. as you've got it. <laughs> Uh, did he earn a free kick as well there? He did. Look, great kick there by Dave Corazu, the only man, the only man who can get Daniel Nolan to pay back a beer, so he's done very, very well there. Daniel Harris is the man that got taken high directly in front. will kick from 55. What he'll do is he'll pretend to line up for a shot at goal and he'll look for a short pass here. This is what these AFL guys are taught. Yeah, he could prove me wrong though any second as he... Play on. You were right with the play on. Slight play on and then a big roost to the top of the square. Won't Good make mark, the distance killer. and a lovely mark by Steve. He wanted Tiller. a lead though. He could just see you say, guys, lead I thought he was going to step him. I thought he was going to try and make him jump and then step around him. It was a great contested mark by the fullback for Avondale Heights. Goes short for Young. The kick wasn't great. Turnover. Here, Barbero, left foot will go That's to Wall. Oh, oh, it's coming back too much. Too much uh, right to left about that one. Minor score for Airport West. And as I've said, guys, we've seen a lot of behinds in the last uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. No goals for a while. Airport West 
Nine five fifty nine. Might end up in Arkansas front. Heights four seven. Look out! Ooh. That is an absolute Just monster. Anthony Danaher would be proud of that. It is inside fifty for oh Arkansas Heights. Oh my goodness! Rose gets it one out. Too far out for He'll him. He'll keep this. Oh, he's no pass good pressure. It off and oh, the umpire got in the way. Looked like the kick was actually intended for the umpire in the end. There's a chance for Josh Free. Has to get around a couple of airport oh. West defenders. Just star uh, helicoptered one in towards Di Martino. In fact, it the was CPO, was he the CPO got taken out. Throw in. If uh, if Paddy Rose had got out of the way then, that literally could have gone through from a, a kick out from fullback. That's one of the biggest <laughs> barrels that I've ever seen at the Coburg City Argyle. That's fantastic. And Josh Free probably needed to use his left there. Was dancing around a little bit too much uh, with very little effect. The CPO third man up got the fist. Avondale Heights would love a goal. Oh, oh, Deco, a pick it up, time. son. And Bazzini cut it and lost it. Grabowski. Still a chance, though. It's uh, Josh Grabowski got tackled straight away by Harris. And now Fulton gets oh, the clearance for Airport goodness. West, but it's coming back in. Mark taken. I think it was. I'm not sure yeah, if it was Megan. the CPO, but here again, is, uh, it was Megan in the end. Oh. Now Crevino <laughs> missed it, and he got the free kick. He did. Look, he did really, really well there. Um, I'd fair to say that if the umpire sees that one on the replay, I don't think he'd be uh, going with the same decision. But they're, nah, very well played, and the umpire just slightly obscured vision. Um, he had uh, he's paid the free kick. Now Cravino must kick this. We've seen kicks uh, shots at goal from closer. The margins just under the 20 points, so they've done well to get back in the game, but they haven't been uh, anywhere near as effective as we'd uh, we'd like them to be. Kicking four goals seven. Is Look, with a win like this, he'd clearly kick it to that 45 with a strong win, but. Uh, hot weather, a lot of fatigue in uh, two, one and a half quarters. It's the most important kick of the game so kicked far, it. and he kicked it through with the left foot beautifully. It's Matt Cravino gets what on captains the ball. Do. That's what captains do. They, uh, they, they get themselves in a position to win a free kick, and they'll be strong with their head over the footy, and uh, from there they've got to go back and kick the goal. Avatar Heights, 5 7 37, Airport West, 9 5 59, <laughs> play 27 minutes. Uh, boys, just a quick score update coming from Div 2. Mooney Valley, 6 7 43, now leading East Keelor, 5 3 33. So that's shaping up to be an absolute ripper of a second half. What a great game. The Valley's up. And in the centre here is Josh Free uh, lining up with uh, Joshua Young and it looks like Cravino as well trying to clear it was Simon Hogan for Airport West did really well. Two, play, up, two, uh, two players beyond the ball now for uh, Airport West and it's really opened up their forward line. Clayton Rogers took a great mark. Goes to Marcus Kenny Cook was guys. Right, nearly but, marked it. He has. He made the mark. Yeah, good it. work. Two of the best uh, local football players you'll see, Marcus Kenny and Stephen Tiller, but it was just a strong grab. The second ball to the cherry is where he secured that mark. It, it was. I was going to say that uh, Tiller did everything possible to be able to spoil that. He yeah, had, he was very right close, very close checking, and um, I actually thought that he might have been able to get the ball free. Now, well, that's the difference. Kenny's a six foot four, and uh, Tiller's a six foot two. And what I've been told about Kenny is that uh, last year, and uh, they may do it this year, is that kids at Airport West games used to do the old John Coleman switch from end to end just to watch him. Oh, they'll and do that. He's, and when he takes the ball, uh, like attacks the ball like that, you can understand why. Yeah, definitely. Marcus Kenny taking all the time in the world. We're 27 and a half minutes into the second quarter. Airport's 22 point lead. Can it be 28? It's going to be a tough kick. The ex uh, Essendon journeyman, Marcus Kenny. That's a beautiful kick. It's just going to fall short. Harris is on the line and gets touched again. And Airport West get a crucial point and lead by 23 points. 9 6 60. Avondale Heights 5, 737. I'm Matt Pilios, joined by Adam Sarikoglu, Adam Anna Harrington and Matt Mocker O'Connor here at Coburg City Oval EDFL Westpac Premier Division. No, it goes towards the outer wing. That's another monster kick. Oh, another my goodness. 70 metre one. It goes to centre wing. Not as big as some of the ones we have seen, Matty, but certainly impressive. And it's in the hands now. Fulton has to go to Harris. He can unload if he wants, but just had to weave through oh. some traffic. And he rushed a kick in the air. Jake what, Ralston got there. He almost confused himself with uh, what he was going to do, whether it was a step or the kick, and he uh, made the right decision in kicking it, but uh, couldn't execute the skill. What we've got is a couple of clubs that's uh, refusing to use the broadcast wing. There's been a lot of football on this outer side today. As Blair Kelly goes bang, high ball up towards the wing again. Mark was dropped that time by uh, number 25, Grant Sykes. Haven't seen much of him today so far. We'll have a ball up, though. Players seem to stop there, fellas. It was almost like they were expecting a, a free kick or a mark or something. They all sort of seemed to look at each other and then um, no whistle forthcoming and play resumed. Half-time, sorry, not that far away. 29 minutes gone, second term. Westpac, Premier Division, elimination final as uh, Young gets on the end of this one, but he can't get boots of ball. We would have loved that. Gravino yeah, tried the tackle. fresh airy, and it's going to be a free kick here for Airport West. Yeah, uh, Young did the ball, just flicked out of his hand when he was trying to uh, do the second step. Good kicking board as well. Walsh has taken the mark. Is there time for the Eagles to get one more? 23-point lead in favour of them. 
as we speak. It's Marcus Kenny on the end of... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> good people do An good things. An unexpected goal for Marcus Kenny. That was unbelievable out of Sarah Coglin. He, he dropped the mark. I really was not expecting him to get hands on the ball. And he just got he sort of guided it with one hand. Yeah. He was too strong for Teal. I put it there so he could at least rove his home ball. But crumb it against that win was sensational. Yeah. Imagine how hard it was to defend. I couldn't even keep up with the call of that. And, and we've been talking all day about whether you dribble it through. Marcus Kenny showed that's how you do it. Make sure there's only one, maybe two bounces at yeah, most. So it's got the best on. chance possible of going through. Spot on. An unbelievable goal. And that's a goal that could break the spirit of the Heights just going before half-time. It's gone out to 29 points uh, once again. Airport West, 10 6, 66. Lead Avondale, 5-7, 37. 30 minutes of the second quarter. Harris through hard, was tackled well by uh, Joshy Young. Gets a free kick. Daniel Harris, the ex-North uh, Melbourne Gold Coast veteran. Started beautifully today. He's had some injury worries the last fortnight, but has had another great season for the Airport West Football Club. Free, uh, sorry, half-time at uh, Highgate Reserve, Aberfeldy 7-11, Greenvale 4 goals 6. Simon Hogan marks at 55 out for Airport West. He's going to go oh, short as a shocker. Dylan Wolf, Graham marks it. Bombs it long, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Blair Smith and uh, it's Gavin Urquhart. Urquhart was good. The young fella did well. Aparo comes in with a the tackle. They've got numbers here, Airport West. On the side is Megan. He's going to get to the ball first. Scown on his back. And Megan comes in beautifully. It was too high, though. Beat everybody. All through hard was Joshy Free. What's he do? He tries to beat two or three. Does very well. Gives a backward handball. Put his uh, teammate under pressure. In hard against Josh Free. He's been really good this piece of play. But Simon Hogan sharks it beautifully. Gives it to Caruso. The one two. Oh, it's a hot footy at the moment. It's through the centre. Who's going to get this piece of play? It's Avenel Heights. They go inside 50. The Heights have numbers here. Fumble there. Can they get it out? It's big bad John McKay. It looks oh. like it's deliberate. Could he have fumbled? And uh, it was actually uh, Grant Sykes, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, the awkwardness of the big man probably saving there in that particular instance. Yeah, he just tumbled and uh, the ball be thrown in 35 metres out. And that was a hot, hot football for a good 90 seconds. It's a lovely day here at Coburg as well. We've had two long That's quarters a free so kick. far. 32 minutes gone and it's it is going to be a free, free kick. kick either. Give it a rose. Well, it's a beautiful kick. Well, Crano's going to take it. Yeah, Crano might not want to give this one up. Free kick is the uh, Airport West boys punch the ball from the boundary, throwing straight back over the boundary line. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Soren goes. So Crefano's already got one goal in this term so far. 32-minute quarter has just ended, and a goal for Avondale Heights will bring the margin back to 23. Surely can't so, kick this far. Verda Stakes, we know the wind is blowing pretty heavily. He's tucked up against the boundary from 50. Biggest kick of the game so far today, Matt Crefino, left foot. Tell you what. Oh. No, he's missed it to the near side. Doesn't register a score in the end. It is halftime in the EFL match of the day. And it's been an unbelievable game so far. Big second half coming up in the Westpac Premier Division. Elimination final between Avondale Heights and Airport West. 5-7-37. Avondale Heights, Airport West. 10-6-66. 29-point lead in favour of the Eagles. Unbelievable game here and uh, we'll get some scores. We've also got the big uh, Foxtel EDFL Premier Division 1, Division 2 Grand Final shows coming up this Wednesday at 8pm till 9pm on Foxtel Channel 183. Aurora, spread the word. Uh, should be a fantastic show as well as our radio shows and all our media outlets. But what an unbelievable game here.